Hello and welcome to a 2v2 uh, game from Attorney from last week. In this one we got Uber and Rock. Two tag team uh, members. They're going to take on Beast Mode and uh, Colonel Shepard. This should be a nice matchup. I would uh, put my money on the tag team in this one. But uh, definitely players will know what they're doing. Beast Mode does have a channel. Um, people should check check them out. Uh, they've got some Spring Commander videos as well as some Spring Commander 2. But I'd like uh, to ask people to forgive them for that. Because um, he knows not what he does. But we'll see. Maybe he'll redeem himself in this one. Going to Siren. Shepard with the uh, EEF going first land. Both both uh, players on the bottom going first land. This is a map we usually see 1v1 in rank. In the rank games, I don't know if uh, we'll see that too many times. An Uber coming out with the first bomber, so early bomber with Seraphim. Going toward uh, Shepard. Meanwhile, Rock going second air, so uh, Siren and uh, Seraphim versus Siren and uh, EEF. There's a scout that will spot this bomber. Shepard should be thinking about Flak. So far it's just uh, really good scouts. There goes an engineer. Here comes some Flak. Of course when you're taking on two different people, and that's that was going to be some Flak right there, but denied by Uber. So far really good stuff. Rock getting quite a few uh, P-Gens, looks like. Is he trying to uh, make too much power, maybe he's trying to help Uber here. Uber sitting at six pigeons. Strange, uh, Rog deciding to go for really heavy power. He does have uh, multiple hunters, or Manta actually, coming down. There are a bunch of uh, units from the bottom side as well. And a point defense directly in the middle here. It's an interesting placement from beast mode. The two ACUs from the bottom side are much more aggressive, although this side is completely exposed with all these Manti from Rock uh, rushing down, and this could be trouble. Beast Mode still operating a single factory. I see an air factory here in the back for Shepard. Two land factories for Shepard, and Shepard, pretty nice assault uh, going forward, getting some anti air. More bombs, that bombers with five kills from over pre. Pretty brutal, uh, but problems for beast mode here. Unless he does something about this. Rock sneaking a whole bunch of units in the back. And uh, this is going to be interesting what comes out of that. The ACUs for the tag team going to the middle. And uh, this is not going to be good. Not the air chair, this is nice close point defense. It's all going to be destroyed, and this air factory also in quite a bit of danger with all this power for Shepard. Shepard sending some units in that direction. And Rock still with a single. Uh, looks like Rock is going to go for a gun or something. I imagine he's got uh, a whole bunch of excess power he's got to start using. Expect him, and actually has some power storage as well. So, in a good position to get a gun or to go tech too. And here it is those Manti that Rock snuck around early on doing great things. He also has another uh, group of Manti that are going to attack Beast Mode's uh, base directly with Beast Mode now with some uh, three land factories. Shepard with the aggressive AC really leaving the base behind. And Rock with the quick cyber. Really good play. You see two land factories for Uber. Absolutely no raiding whatsoever. From the bottom side so very safe. Power storage way in the back is going to be a nice thing to stick into if you're able to make it past this position. Rock not started an upgrade. These Manta are still alive, secretly. And another group of Manta sneaking by. For Rock. And uh, this point defense can be pretty interesting for Beast Mode. Uber picks up some mass tractors retreats. Beast Mode is going to follow. Beast Mode now has a group of Manta, manta that are almost covering this. It looks like Shepard has finally found out these uh, Manta is going to start killing them. There's some nice wrecks here in this corner, but a second group from Rock is moving in. Rock nearly finished with his upgrade. Still on a single land factory. 
although that land factory made some very effective units. Um, way too much excess mass. Uh, rock coupling uh, very strangely, but perhaps he's trying to be fancy here. He's got the stealth and gun. This ACU is going to get a lot of kills. Both ACUs working together. Just units up uh, on the left side. Shepard. No upgrades. And uh, together the tag team take care of all the tech one from beast mode. Another bomb with five kills for Uber. Really the only error has been from Uber. Everybody else. Well I was going to say neglecting. But here's a tech two transport. Tech two air. It looks like it's going to be multiple ghettos for Shepard. And this is what a uh, tech to ghetto looks like from the EEF. And one beautiful thing about this is that you can actually target. The EEF uh, transport does have guns on it. And you can use them to target in beast mode in quite a bit of trouble here. Runs into two different ACUs. He's retreating back to his point defense and rock shooting at distance. Uber did not follow. Looks like beast mode very lucky there. Extremely lucky. So the double ghetto, they need to get that in uh, position do some damage. A lot of interceptors for Uber, so could be a very risky move from Shepard. Rock now with some upgrading. Tech 2 mass tractors, Tech 2 land. It's a gun Tech 2 land from a Rock. Beast mode uh, throwing some units forward. Point defense for Ashley on the air for Uber. So it does look like the top side is very much in control. Let me slow this down. Waiting to see what these get. Oh, looks like another. So it's going to be three, three ghettos for Shepard. Not too much scouting. And the Uber here, plenty of mass, plenty of power. Need to make more interceptors. Here come the ghettos. This is what you see on the later ones. Somebody comes and attacks the ghettos. That's a lot of firepower. And that's when you know things are not good. There goes Uber. Excellent snipe from Shepard, and that really turns the game on its head. Now Rock is going to find himself all alone. He does have Tech 2 land, and he does have a very really nice ACU. And at this point, there should be some good aggression from uh, the bottom team. Looks like they're playing with Give, uh, which is surprising. These units should have no, no Give. Just some nice reclaims for Rock. Rock. And we're going with some tech power, but he's going to be lacking in units. Another ghetto coming in, and you've got to remember all the Air Force for the top side was made by Uber. No air factory yet for Rock. So this ghetto is just going to avoid flak. As long as it avoids the tech to flak, that's right there. And do some serious damage. More flak coming out. Tech to flak against the ghetto. That's going to be really bad for these mech marines. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, they all died. Some tech one on tech one. Looks like numbers for beast. Rock is going to try to prevent Colonel from taking over Uber's old base. We got some tech two, some hop lights, and the ACU. So Shepard in this position should be very careful. He's very much outgunned. Beast mode also coming in, but his ACU is quite weak. So Rock two versus one. Looks like more ghettos coming in for Shepard. It's a very good weapon for uh, UEF that people should uh, never neglect. Never neglect. A whole bunch of scouts. You're gonna see that uh, Rock still has no air. This Tech 2. More flak. And engineers now for Rock are gonna expand. They're gonna get a lot of mass. So Rock's gonna have a lot of reclaim. He's got plenty of power. Good position. He's still has about half the map so uh, things aren't that bad for him it's really up to beast mode to start putting pressure on protected mask extractors go around the side you got to put a lot of pressure on rock uh, use your two versus one advantage in terms of your concentration you don't want to just leave the one player alone Attacking is not that difficult, especially for someone like Rock. He will out tech with a double base. And this is not what you want to see. A whole bunch of units just sitting there. Tech 2 land factory not producing anything by beast mode. Start using his units. 
Beast mode at pl plus 20 mass, Shepard at plus 14, so no taking whatsoever. So Rock is a significant mass advantage, and now moving over the ZCE, 36 kills. And defending on both sides. The Rock's a little taking over uh, Uber's base. He does have Seraphim tech. That's some technical difficulties. Nice to see, yeah, bombers, excellent. Some Janus bombers. These uh, are countered by Tech to Flag, but not nearly as uh, effectively as a uh, ghetto is countered. And I will speed this up since uh, it looks like the bottom side ran out of ideas after they did the ghetto. But sniping this tech to power would be a really good target. There is plenty of tech one and TMD now for a rock as well. The tech two force from rock uh, shouldn't have any problems against these manta if they sneak around once again. It's a pretty nice tech one force from Beast Mode. Beast Mode almost as if he's uh, AFK. Because this game is uh, nowhere near to be one. Multiple tech forces on both sides now moving in from rock. A whole bunch of jazz bombers. Looks like Colonel uh, wants to get enough to actually snipe the ACU. He's not going to attack. And that's uh, just a strategic mistake uh, in a 2 u one game. Unless you have map control, of course, then you can do whatever you want. Rock making uh, anti-air. He's got plenty of tech to flak. And you can see the hoplites here. One micro using the range. No problems at all. And here tech two versus tech one. Superior numbers for beasts and uh, rock will have to retreat. This force right here should have been attacking this whole time. And should just keep on going. This force from rock could uh, do some damage if that poisons the ACU. Constant scouting from Colonel, which is uh, really nice to see. That's a whole bunch of Janus bombers. Let's see what these can do. They're gonna turn. And here comes another ghetto. These ghetto needs to be very careful. There should be a tech to flag right there. And uh, that's a whole bunch of wasted mech marines. And I assault directly on uh, rock space rock with a tech three. He's going to use his loyalist to defend. Also some tech two point defense, multiple tech to power generators. And with that many bombers, there's no reason why Rock should have tech to power. Constant assault from Beast Mode, feeding the tech two point defenses. Let me actually turn that down a little bit. And here come the bombers. Not really clear what they've bombed. May have been some loyalists. And that tech to power, yeah, they're going after the ACU, but Janus Bomber is very e easy to dodge compared to the other tech to bombers. You can see you don't get multiple passes over a base that has that much tech to flag. So good defense from Rock. But Rock, if you look at his power, he's uh, using all of his 1300, uh, and uh, he should only have about 300 whole bunch of uh, loyalists coming out now for rock tech 3 land and that's going to be very uh, big problems and I see some flak with those as well looks like yeah they're going to wait to get some flak and then go in some tech 2 the hoplites for beast mode and uh, with proper micro and a uh, space uh, which beast mode doesn't really have hoplites can't counter the loyalist and it looks like this force of hoplites from Hop us together with a stealth field from Rock just sitting here playing defense. Two ACUs, uh, back, Shepard getting beast mode uh, on upgrade. And so far, uh, Rock looks uh, in a much better shape. Got a whole bunch of reclaim from those dead units from Beast. And here comes the Tech 3 Force. They will sneak, sneak past. Now they retreat. And the hoplites running into loyalists, that's not what you want to do. In close range, the loyalists will have no problems. 
That's what you call a massacre. So tech three versus tech one. And uh, that's not good. Whole bunch of scouts moving in. Rock 45 kills retreats. That's a whole bunch of tech one bombers and these are not gonna have too much success. What are they gonna attack? I hope they don't attack the ACU once again. But now the power is all under shields. It's gonna be much more difficult to kill. Yep. A whole bunch of dead bombers and the shields do their job. And now we can see beast mode and uh, Shepard with their base explode, uh, uh, basically exposed. Against tech two, trying to get some tech two point defenses. But all that rock has to do is just walk around and start demolishing. Splits up his forces. One force staying back with the flag to take care of uh, assault. And another force, really a strong force here. There goes Beast Space. And Tech 1 bombers are not going to be a good counter. Here comes the Tech 2 on the other side. Rock absolutely demolishing here. You can see Beast on a transport is going to move in. This is very dangerous to do. Might be in a... This is very much a suicide. We'll see what that actually does. But Beast has no base and uh, Colonel has no base either. Colonel is also going to get in a transport. Beast mode trying to get a tech two point defense built. You can't do that when you have no mass. Shepard drops off into a position where he gets shot right away. And this game is going to be over after 25 minutes. Excellent comeback from Rock. Uh, and it was really those few minutes that uh, Beast Mode and uh, Colonel had. If they would have attacked Rock when he was weak, they may have had some success, but they waited too long, let Rock build up, and attack three from Rock. Really uh, very one sided what they did. Big veterans, hold the whole bunch of loyalists. I hope people enjoyed this one.